you messed it up. You're stupid. Uh, this is a headline from Axios. And you can see there, so you see the picture there, and the headline is, Man Dies with Self-Medicating uh, with uh, chloroquine, uh, chloroquine Phosphate. Now, I believe this headline was actually altered as well, because if I'm not mistaken, the original headline was uh, self-medicating with COVID-19 drug that the president, uh, president praised or something like that. Because if I'm not mistaken, I went back to grab the screen of this and the headline had changed on this one as well. I can't prove that one, so you know, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure this headline also by Axios was changed. But here was the whole article that I did get originally when I read it. A man has died and his wife is under critical care after the couple, both in their 60s, ingested chloroquine phosphate, a additive commonly used, uh, uh, sorry, uh, which is also one of the anti-malaria drugs that President Trump has mentioned in recent days, according to Banner Health, the hospital system treated in both patients. People who attempted to self-medicate risk serious side effects or death, and are mes messaging about chloroquine and its related hydrochloroquine should emphasize that these drugs have not been approved to prevent or treat the new coronavirus. So looking at that, that makes it look really bad. It makes it sound like, okay, the president goes on TV pushing this new, well, not new drug, but this drug that has been used for malaria for decades that he's saying that they've had some success treating people with COVID-19 and all of a sudden this guy sees that and reacts to it by taking this stuff and almost dies or, or sorry, dies and his wife is in critical condition after ingesting the stuff that the president recommended that people take, which first of all, he did not recommend that people take it themselves. He was saying that doctors are looking into this. That is a completely different thing. He didn't say, and everybody should take this right now, ingest as much of it as humanly possible. That's not what President Trump said. He said that doctors are having some success with it, and it looks like this may be the answer that we were looking for, which is true. You know, maybe it winds up being a big bust. Maybe it winds up being the silver bullet we were looking for. I tend to think the answer is going to be somewhere in the middle, but the point is, what President Trump was saying was, was factually accurate. He didn't say that people should be taking this on themselves. And here's another thing. They kind of forgot to mention that the man and his wife mentioned in this story did not take pills of this particular drug. What they did is they drank fish tank cleaner that had this as one of the ingredients. That's a pretty big detail to just kind of forget to include in your story because you just heard me read the entirety of the article. Nowhere did it mention that. And you will also notice that if you look at the graphic of the headline, we can pull that back up right here. You'll notice that in the picture they included with the headline, they have a guy standing there with the drug in pill form, which would lead you to believe that this guy just self-medicated with pills that the president recommended. That is not true. Not a single pill was included in this story, yet that's the picture they chose to use for the headline. It's very obvious what they were trying to do is lay the blame for this guy's death at the president's feet and make it seem as though, well, that guy was just doing what the president told him to do. That would be like if back in the Obama administration that President Obama was making a speech about something random and he said, and, and also the human body needs a lot of salt. And, you know, uh, it, it's, if, if you don't have salt, you'll die, which is medically accurate, a correct statement to make. And I said, uh, oh, I guess I need salt. So let me eat some laundry detergent because it has salt in it. Well, is that President Obama's fault? No, it's the idiot that drank detergent's fault. I can't believe people are trying. I mean, I can believe it. I shouldn't come to expect anything less from the media. <laughs> but I mean, it's such a ridiculous stretch to say that President Trump should be blamed for this moron drinking fish tank cleaner. It's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. 
but you have to hand it to the media. They do come up with some creative ways to try to blame Trump for things. Now, later, after people like myself on Twitter had called them out for not including that little detail that they just forgot, they did add another line underneath it that said, worth noting, gee, no kidding, worth noting, the malaria drug comes in tablet form, but the type that the couple used was in a toxic substance, not medication. Well, thanks for clearing that up. Still didn't change the picture, by the way. So anybody that was just looking through and seeing the headline, which is what most people do, would still think that this was taken in pill form. But it's, it's, it's just so hilarious that the media thinks that nobody's going to call them out in the age of the internet when people can look things up. But it's very clear looking at all the details of that, how they added those critical details of the story later and how they picked the picture that they did. They were clearly trying to skew the story in a way that made President Trump look bad, even though this idiot doing that, for all we know, he didn't even hear that from the president. He may have been reading reports just like the president did, just like I did, about how this drug is having some limited success on patients with COVID-19. And even if the president had been the reason he did that, President Trump didn't tell people to drink fish tank cleaner. I mean, to blame the president for that or to blame anybody that was talking about that for this guy being a moron and drinking poison to try to save himself from coronavirus is just stupid. If anybody would be to blame for that, it would be him, not anybody else. People are accountable for their own actions. But it's just so disappointing because the media see scoring political points as their job, and that's the reason why even in the midst of this crazy time where you would think that people would have enough sense to put some of those things aside and to come together for a little bit, well, they see this as doing their job. It's their job to make the other side look bad, and that's the reason that they can, at least from a psychological standpoint, justify doing this even in the midst of something of this magnitude. Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman, so now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, woke brigade.